What is up everybody, I am Dylan Clark, and today we are gonna be comparing Martin acoustic strings with Elixir acoustic strings on that D28 that is sitting right there. You're gonna be hearing both sets of strings back to back on that guitar, me playing and recording it. And uh, I wanna tell you a little bit about the inspiration for this video, okay? Uh, where this is coming from is actually this guitar right here. This is a Martin D18 standard that I recently purchased. And of course, when you buy a Martin guitar, they come with Martin strings on them. Now, I have been running pretty much nothing but Elixir strings on all of my acoustics for the last year, maybe a little bit longer anyway. I love how long they last, how long they stay bright. And up until that point, like I had that guitar, I thought that I prefer the sound of them as well. But after I got that and compared playing the D18 to the D28, I was like, man, I really feel like this D18 sounds better to me. Now, I fully understand, you know, that's a mahogany back and sides. Maybe I just prefer the sound of a D18 to a D28, but I think there's more than that here. And that's why I'm testing this out. Maybe I, maybe I just prefer the D18, but maybe the Elixir strings on the D28 bring out a little bit, are, are a little bit too bright for me. That's what I'm thinking right now, going into this. Uh, so I'm gonna try back of, uh, both of them back to back and see if that's actually the case. Now, before we get into the rest of the video, I do wanna remind you, please like and subscribe if you enjoy it. If you wanna know more about the equipment that I have and enjoy this type of content, turn notifications on, that way you don't miss the next upload. It's greatly appreciated, it helps the channel out a lot. Thank you. All right, so now let me go into a little bit more detail as far as the testing process, how I'm gonna record all this, as well as the strings. Uh, the strings that are currently on the D28 Modern Deluxe, that's uh, the model of the D28, is, are the uh, Elixir 13s and they're the Phosphor Bronze. And what I'm gonna be putting on there are the Martin 13s, uh, Phosphor Bronze Treated, okay? So very similar strings uh, as far as the Phosphor Bronze, same gauges and everything like that. Uh, these strings that are currently on that guitar are about a week old, okay? So the first recording you're gonna hear are with those strings, with the Elixirs, and I'll record that through a warm audio mic, single mic, uh, through my Tascam Model 16. I'll leave the EQ flat, no effects or anything. I think that microphone does a good job of just producing uh, the way the guitar sounds, um, you know, just, just kind of a flat EQ so that you, you know, there's no effects or anything messing with it. You'll hear those elixirs first. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna change the strings. I'm gonna give those strings a week uh, to give a fair comparison here. I'll leave the Martins on for a week come back and record. And in that week, I'm gonna leave my microphone and everything in the exact same location. Uh, you might see the camera move a little bit, but as far as the recording equipment that I use, everything will be left in the exact same positions in order to make sure I can reproduce the sound fairly. After I compare both sets of strings, I'll come in and give you my opinion, my overall thoughts, if I notice a big difference, which I prefer. I'm also looking for feedback from you guys. Let me know as you listen to the comparison, which sounds better to you, which you prefer. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that together. This isn't just a one-way conversation with me. I wanna know your thoughts as well. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the comparison now.
All right, so there's the comparison between the Elixir and Martin strings. Hopefully you can look past my amateur playing and pick out the differences in sound between the two. After listening to the recordings, as well as just playing and feeling the guitar, here are my thoughts. I went into this with a little bit of bias. I said that in the beginning, you know, uh, after getting the, the D18 and really liking the way that, that sound, I kind of expected that the, the strings were part of the problem on the D28, or not problem, but were part of the reason that I like the sound of the D18 more over the D28. And I do think there is some truth to that. I think that what it comes down to with the Elixir strings is that they just always sound so bright. And that's both a good and a bad thing. Everybody knows Elixir strings last forever. And that is a really good positive for them. Um, but whenever I first put on the Martin strings, for the first like 24, maybe 48 hours of playing them, I was like, there's really not as much of a difference here as I was expecting. But after that point, the Martin strings kind of settle into an area where that, that kind of new string harshness goes away and you get that sweet spot for the next couple of weeks uh, as far as the sound of the strings. And I don't feel like elixirs ever get into that sweet spot. I feel like elixirs always have that brand new string brightness. And for me, it comes across a bit harsh when comparing the two. Um, now, some people might prefer that sound over the elixir, but comparing them back to back, I think uh, both in playing and, and just listening to it from my ear as well as listening to the recordings that I prefer the sound of the Martin strings. Um, now, another factor, the elixir strings are very slippery as well, or slick. Again, something that a lot of people like. And in fact, I think that for people who don't have calluses built up on their hands, it can be easier to play. Um, but in my opinion, once you get some thick calluses built up on your fingers, and they actually, I don't like how slick they are. I like the, the feel of the Martin strings a little bit better as well. Um, now, these Martin strings are treated. We'll see how long they last, but I think you have to give a positive to the Elixir strings for, for lasting longer and sounding good for longer than any other strings on the market. So if you're somebody where that's important to you, if you're somebody who doesn't want to change strings all the time, uh, maybe you only play your guitar once a week or once a month or something like that, the Elixir strings might be the better option for you. I don't mind changing strings. I enjoy it. Uh, so that's not really that big of a negative for, to me. Um, but I think based upon this comparison, that's where I'm at. I think I prefer the sound of the Martin strings a little bit more. Uh, I think that I prefer the feel of the Martin strings a little bit more. Uh, but it's not as much of a difference as I was expecting. I'll be honest with you there. And in fact, it takes, again, about 24 to 48 hours to really start to hear the differences, in my opinion, between the two. Um, so yeah, that's my comparison. I think... Uh, I think we'll probably do this again on the D18 because part of me thinks that maybe that brightness with the elixir, elixir strings might work better on the D18 than it does on the D28 that already has a lot of high end um, as part of you know the rosewood features and the, the tonal sounds there. So yeah, I'll probably try that down the road. Maybe we'll do a follow-up video with that. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one.